You may have clicked on this video thinking I've made this one before. After all, I did make a video about cultivating happiness a couple of months ago. But this video is about cultivating joy. And if you like the video, officially like it on YouTube and or subscribe to my channel. Subscriptions are the lifeblood of any YouTube channel and it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe or pass it on to family and friends who might be interested. It's nice to share. Before I tell you about why joy is important and how to cultivate it, let's first talk about the difference between happiness and joy. Joy and happiness are often used interchangeably, but there is an actually a big difference between them. Happiness is described as dependent on external people or external circumstances or events. And all too often, the feelings are like a butterfly that lands on us and flutters away, as described by the Dalai Lama. Joy, on the other hand, comes from within. It is a much more enduring feeling that persists no matter what the circumstances are. It comes when you make peace with who you are why you are, how you are, according to the psych psychologies. Experiencing joy is wonderful. Being in a state of joy is equivalent to being at peace with yourself. This state is critical to help us to solve our internal and external conflicts as we see our past, our present, and our future much more clearly. It also allows us to live in the present to reflect on the past and to dream about the future. So here are five ways to easily cultivate joy in your life suggested by the website medium.com. These are things that we can start doing today, right now. Number one, enjoy the beauty of things that are around you that you usually take for granted. For, exa for example, sip and savor a cup of coffee. Soak up the sunshine through your window. Enjoy relaxing sensations of a hot shower. It isn't difficult to find magic in the little things if you take the time to fully be present and to notice them, we're told. Number two, explore and find new ways to create, play, and bring out your inner child. Be playful. Take up a creative hobby like painting or short story writing, coloring or dancing. Creative expression is an incredible way to stay energized and to maintain a healthy living of, level of curiosity and wonder. The key is to have fun, be authentic and don't take your life too seriously. Number three, incorporate mindfulness and gratitude practices into your, into your routine. Take a walk in nature, practice meditation, and most importantly, consciously try to accept circumstances that are outside of your control. By expressing appreciation for the things we often take for granted, it's easier to find a reason to smile. Number four, resist comparing yourself to others. And remember that everyone is on their own path. As Theodore, as Theodore Roosevelt once said, comparison is the thief of joy. The next time you feel envy arising from someone else, recognize it and remember that the success of others doesn't take away from your potential. And number five, nourish and nurture the relationships and the connections in your life. Humans are social beings by nature and several psychological studies and Buddhist philosophies emphasize the importance of relationships and community as positive contributors to your overall well-being. This can be challenging in the socially distant world we're living in right now, but a little bit of effort can go a long way. The next time you're missing a friend or family member, let them know what you're thinking about them. Invest in deepening the quality of your connections with friends and family, and try to let go of the ones that no longer serve you. Practice makes perfect. And if we train our brains to cultivate joy in the ways just described, it becomes second nature to us. We could find ourselves becoming much more cheerful, much more fun to be around, and to be more positive in our thinking. Thank you.